thank you everyone for tuning in to Verbs Gaming Place. Uh, today I wanted to bring you a guide on the Mistweaver Monk. This guide is going to be a PvP orientated guide. It's going to be more focused around 3v3s, but it's also viable in 2v2 and rated battlegrounds, or random battlegrounds. So for tier 15, you have Chi Burst, Zen Pulse, and Chi Wave. I pick Chi Wave because it'll always be bouncing between an enemy and an ally, always putting out damage and healing. Zen Pulse, I just don't think it's viable. Chi Burst is it's way too easy to miss your opponents. So then you basically sat there and cast a spell, and you got nothing from it. Tier 30, personal preference, I prefer Chi Torpedo. Uh, you can get up to a 60% movement speed. and It's really good compared to Death Knights, uh, because when you roll away, they're going to death grip you back, and you roll again, they're going to change the ice you, but you'll have a 60% increased movement speed, so you're not slowed that much, you're still faster than the Death Knight unless they Wraith Walk, but you have things to counteract that. <clears throat> um, in Tier 45, I pick Mistwrap for PvP. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing the Soul of the Grandmaster, so I just get that automatically. Um, Spirit of the Crane, you, you just, you're not really going to need too much mana in arenas. Mana is not going to be an issue for you. And life cycles, I, I just prefer being able to be mobile and healing. For tier 60, my, my talent of choice is Leg Sweep. But obviously if you're fighting a melee heavy comp, you'll want Ring of Peace. So you can keep them away from you or... You can knock them away from an ally. Uh, you can get some sustained healing, get him up. Uh, Song of Chi, it's just too easy to get interrupted, and it's not worth the time and effort. For tier 75, you have healing elixirs, diffuse magic, and dampen harm. I prefer the healing elixir. I enjoy being able to not have to cast a heal on myself, pop two of these and get 30% of my health back. I could even pop like a Renewing Mist on myself. Uh, for tier 90 we have Rushing Jade Wind. You should not be with your DPS. So this talent is not viable. I know a lot of people like uh, the Red Crane um, but I prefer the Jade Statue. Nobody really ever fo like tries to focus the Jade Statue, and it's just mirroring 50% of what you are doing. So it's, it's an easy choice in my opinion. Um, for your tier 100, you have Manatee, Focus Thunder, and Rising Thunder Kick. Uh, Rising Thunder, your Rising Sun Kick resets the remaining cooldown in your Thunder Focus T. It's pretty helpful, um, but I prefer the two charges. Because again, like I said, you, you really don't want to be in combat unless you really have to be. And Manatee, I just I don't think the 1.5 minute cooldown justifies it. So we'll get into our honor talents now. Uh, Gladiator's Medallion, Adaptation, and Relentless. Obvious choice, Gladiator's Medallion. Uh, so then next here we have Defender of the Week, Vim and Vigor, and Zen Focus T. Defender of the Week, we know, below 50%, you gain 20% haste. Vim and Vigor, above 80% health, you're doing 20% more healing. But Zen Focus T, 5 seconds, you're completely immune to all interrupts and silences. So if there's a point where your team is taking heavy damage, and you know the enemy team has already used their stun on you, but they still have a silence up, you pop Zen Focus T, and you can push out massive amounts of healing. Uh, so next here, we have Yulon's Gift, Chi Torpedo Dispels Snares. This is a really good one against um, a snare-heavy team, but my default choice is Fast Feet, because if you stack that with your Chi Torpedo rolls, you're moving at 75%. Um, I, I never use this talent. Uh, Surge of Mist, Enveloping Mist, is now an instant cast. That's really nice to have. Way of the Crane is also another nice thing. But like I said, I, I really do not like to be in the conflict unless I have to be for 
Chi torpedoing in, doing a spinning kick, and stunning a healer to try and lock him down to get someone to get an execute on somebody. Uh, my preference is the ancient Mistweaver arts. Yes, I know that, as it says, Soothing Mist is now an active spell and no longer is automatically applied through casting a fuse, enveloping mist, or vivify. But it heals for 3 million over 16.4 seconds. And while channeling, a fuse and enveloping mists are now instant casts. So one of your stronger heals is an instant cast, and enveloping mist is still an instant cast. So that's 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 my personal preference. Um, obviously reduces um, life cocoon by ninety seconds. Counteract magic. I prefer dome of mist because now they have an absorb shield from your enveloping mists. And there's so much more other stuff you can put out for healing. Uh, like I said, the enveloping mists, you can channel right into an automatic F fuse, or you could uh, start casting Vivify or Zen Pulse. Fortune turned. Your F fuse applies Fortune turned on the target, increasing the healing received by your next F fuse by 50%. I'm. It's, not my choice. I could probably I can see why some people might want it. I really enjoy refreshing breeze because it increases your healing if you're vivified by twenty percent, and also if you have essence fauna up and you have enveloping mist on a target who you're really trying to heal, you can keep spam and vivify, and it's going to heal your other <clears throat> your other arena partner, and it's going to keep refreshing that hot. So that's going to last even longer and it's going to help add to your healing. Let's get into our base spells, right? So Chi Torpedo, like I was talking about. There's a nice little roll. You get a nice little 30% movement speed buff. Now the best part is, let it get to 0 seconds, hit it again. Now you have it for 9 seconds again at 60% movement speed. Chi Wave. This isn't going to work as it should, but you'll be able to at least get a general idea. You shoot it out, it gives a heal. Detox is our main dispel. Fuse is our heal. It's, it's one of our best heals. Um, it's, it's, it's our heavy hitter. Um, enveloping Mist, as we know, puts the heal over time effect, starts channeling Soothing Mist outside of PvP. Healing Elixirs, like I said, you can pop one, healed me for 811,000. It's a nice chunk of health. Leg Sweep, obviously, is our stun. Life Cocoon. This is our oh shit button. Let's put it that way. In cases of the target in a cocoon of chi energy for 12 seconds, absorbing 2.6 million damage and increasing all healing over time received by 50%. So, you want to make sure once you put this up, slap renewing mist on the target, hit up an essence font. Pump out a couple vivifies. And it automatically channels Soothing Mist for you as well. Renewing Mists. Is just one of our hots. As you can see. 55,283 health every 1.6 seconds. Revival is a, another oh shit heal, but it also will dispel all magic, poison, and diseases. Kind of have to be a little bit careful here, because if there's an unstable affliction or vampiric touch on a target, and you're trying to make sure that you're getting your team's health back up, this is going to get you feared. 
Shaloon's Gift is our artifact ability. This is a very, very strong heal. Um, I normally let it stack up to about 10 before I'll use it. If not, I'll just let it keep stacking up. Um, spinning Crane Kick, it's just an AoE. We're never going to use that. Um, but here is our Jade Serpent. So like I said, it'll mirror whatever you do by 50%. So as you can see, it's healing me while I'm healing myself. <clears throat> Thunder Focus T. So this is a really, really good cooldown for monks. If used, your healing is increased by 200%. Now remember, I said I wanted the two charges. If I really need to pump somebody's health up, with our honor talent here. I can use Soothing Mist and get out an instant effuse. And then I can pop Thunder Focus T again and repeat it if I really need to. If you do this, if you have Thunder Focus T up and you use Enveloping Mist, obviously it's an instant cast. Essence Fawn. I don't really see it's not that helpful channeling 100% faster you're still gonna be able to get kicked um, vivify costing no mana is really helpful when you need to do cleave healing um, transcendence so this is a really good cooldown well it's a good spell for us Tran transcendence transfers the cooldown so this is really good for pillar kiting. Let's use my Jade Serpent as a pillar. So, I'm gonna put it here. And let's say I'm over here healing a teammate and the enemy DPS come for me. I walk them around the pillar and they get to here, they're chasing me. They chase me back. My mouse is acting up, I'm sorry. So let's let's picture they're still here. I pop this, now I'm back on the other side of the pillar. And now, my spirit is over here. So you need to make sure that you reset it in the strategic positions that you want. Um, vivify, like I said. Causes a surge of invigorating mist surrounding the target, healing them and two nearest um, injured allies. So it's three people. So it's really good in 3v3 because you can heal yourself and you can heal them. These are for those serious times where you do need to get close to melee because you all need healing. But like I said, make sure that you cast Essence Fawn because your Vivify will keep Essence Fawn up in PvP. So it's extremely helpful. Um, some tips and tricks. Um, so let's say... I'm here, I get death grip by a, a DK. Let's say it's a double frost death knight team. So I roll away. I get death gripped back. Well, I can roll away again. His cooldown happens to be up for whatever reason, right? You get death gripped again as you're getting death gripped. Transcendence transfer. His death grip now needs nothing. It's not a stun. He's just pulling you to him, and you'll be back behind your pillar. So you can keep hiding behind the pillar and pillar humping. Um, I can't think of too much more right now. Um, but I'm gonna keep putting videos out for the Mistweaver. Uh, this will be my main focus for healers right now. Uh, I'll probably put up some arenas. Um, I'm not that highly rated. Um, I really don't do rated battlegrounds or twos. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not I'm not highly rated. Um, but I know a little bit about the class, and I just want to try and share some tips or some things that some new Mistwa uh, Mistweavers are trying to figure out. Um, but if you have any comments about the video, just comment below. I'll reply back. And thank you for tuning in.